do go to sleep. Seventy percent, uh, seven to seventy percent, make sure that the economy is competitive. Uh, but thirty percent, making sure that the society uh, is cohesive. So therefore, yeah, his his conclusion is that uh, Singapore software is a three seven way. So he says, so when I go back to Beijing, I'm going to explain to my government uh, that well, this is what we learned from Singapore. The three seven way, how to be seventy percent competitive and thirty percent. Courtesy. Yeah. So we told him, say, I don't know whether it's three seven or four six or five five, uh, yeah. But I think you got it right. Uh, this is a three three emphasis. And then they point out to say, they say that the qi jing na, chuan jing ke na, meaning that it's it's a very difficult to understand the Singapore software. Uh, but to bring this Singapore software to China to get implemented is even more difficult. Even more difficult. So they say we must try. So that's how Suzhou project came about, how we share and then how people are all over. So but my point here again I want to emphasize this is that uh, our software in 1992 was way ahead of the so national software of many countries and many cities. And that's the reason why China, after 79 to 92, uh, after so many years of open up, when they're looking for model, they were attracted by our model. But let us also recognize this. Uh, the China software, the national software, has continued to make progress. China today are very strong, world class in many areas. Yeah. So the software can make progress. Other countries, uh, other places, their software are also progressing very fast. Yeah. But fortunately, uh, fortunately Singapore software will not stand still to. Yeah. And the reason because the reason why our software never stands still is that we continue to transform our software. For example, do you remember what are the major policy changes in recent years? For example, uh, the economy area this morning, we talked to uh, Chun Xian and STB and so on. Uh, I can tell you this, uh, the Singapore economy in 1992, 1992 when we studied us, 1994 we started SIP, versus the Singapore economy of today, 2008, very different. Yeah. In 1992, 1994, nobody in Singapore talked about knowledge-based knowledge economy. Nobody thought about innovation driven economy in 1992-1994. Yeah. But today we are talking about a new kind of economy. Yeah. So can you imagine, can you imagine if we have not made the transformation since 1992, since 1994, today will be outdated. If today we are still working on a capital intensive industry, yeah. huh? will be outdated. Well a skill intensive, capital intensive will good enough. For 1992, 1994, but skill intensive and knowledge and uh, this capital intensive is not good enough for 2008. Yeah, but fortunately, uh, it not happen by chance. We did not stand still. So our economy today is uh, more knowledge based, not more innovation driven. And because of that, that's why other other investors often find us relevant. Flowers, our social, our social, our social software has it slowed down. Yeah. Continue to transform. Why? Give you another example. In 1992 1994, nobody talked about widening income gap. Nobody talked about aging population. So, our, our national software, our social software in 1992 1994, did not have a conscious focus on addressing this widening income gap and aging population. But today, 2008, big difference, right? We have workfare income supplement. Huh? Workfare income supplement. So WIS is today part of our social software huh? to address this uh, uh, income gap. Huh? We now have a JRP, job recreation. We have lifelong learning LQ. All this happened after 1994. Yeah. Our aging population side, you know, many, many software. And procreation, huh? what, what PM announced in the uh, National Rally and DPMO after the subsequently all this has become our new uh, new update uh, new update to our social software right? uh, not only getting Singaporeans to be work, hard, work harder, work day and night uh, like what someone is talking about uh, but at the same time get married and children you know, the babies and so on right? so these are all the evolution of our national software yeah. so my point here therefore is that uh, we were ahead in many aspects in 1992 and as a result, China were interested in this. And the reason why today, in 2008, 
China is still interested in wanting to learn from a software to this new city. It's because we did not stand still. And we must continue to stand still. So therefore, this exercise has a very important part of this. Young NPUC, young NPUC, uh, we must be a growing, vibrant youth movement in Singapore. Yeah. Young NPUC uh, will, I hope young NPUC will be slightly different, slightly different from the youth movement. But let me put it this way, I hope there will be a few major youth movements in Singapore, and I hope that every one of them will be slightly different from each other. Yeah. Because we want diversity. Yeah. Diversity can be a strength. Yeah. So young QC will find our own strength. Find our own strength. Yeah. So just like the software of Singapore has not stand still from 1992, 1994 to Likewise for the next 10, 20 years, it will continue to evolve. So you as young members of young QC, some of you are members, some are not members yet. Huh? For those of you who are not members yet, you should think about signing up member, becoming a member. Uh, uh, before you, you leave this place today. <laughs> yeah. And for those of you who are already member of the NQC, you should challenge yourself, you see. You should challenge yourself, right? If for the Singapore software to continue to evolve in the future. 20 years from now, 20 years from now, uh, so, uh, the, our Chinese friend described this way. SIP was the first Liang Ding, shining. Shining Star. Shining Star. First Liang Dian of Singapore China collaboration uh, launched in 1994. And this Liang Dian, uh, this Shining Star, so, so shining and uh, so bright uh, that they are so now so interested to start seeing the Liang Dian, a new, new shining point. So Eco City is now a new second new shining point. Right? So can you imagine, it's taken us 14 years right, to start from first shining uh, from Suzhou to now to, to the Eco City in Tianjin. Now, 14 years from now, 14 years from now, will China still be interested to initiate another new Liang Dian with Singapore? And let me pose it to you. If by uh, 14 plus 8 is 22, right? By the year 2022, if Singapore, if we continue to evolve our economic software, our social software, our environmental software, over our sustainable development software. Then maybe, I said maybe because don't take for granted, huh? China will be very far. Then maybe 40 years from now, huh? the future president of China, the future prime minister of China, may still be talking about the future prime minister of Singapore huh? to talk about having another new land thing. <coughs> but of course, we did not make progress because we want to have the new land with China alone. But what it means is that this is the only way we can remain relevant to the rest of the world. And we can only re remain relevant with the rest of the world if we can continue to make uh, this a continuous transformation uh, of national software. So what Young QC is all about is how can we have a youth movement in Singapore, uh, a movement that will not only contribute uh, to all this uh, work that we are doing on a day to day basis, but more importantly, become a thought leader, thought leader, and say, look, hey, you know, sing ping xia zi yu er yu, worry about the future of Singapore before other people worry about Singapore. Uh, you must do that, yeah, because uh, last time was Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, then after that Mr. Bo Chok Tong, and now Mr. Lee Sin Lung, you know? uh, then in the future, I think we should keep having more and more. Don't just wait for the Prime Minister of the Future, the Minister of the Future, the Section of the Future. Yeah. I think every one of us from up to down, at right, all levels, we can contribute. Our ideas are our input, you see. Yeah. So, 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 so uh, uh, take this as a, take this YCX as a journey, uh, as a journey. Uh, don't take it as a one-off exercise. Yeah. Because uh, just like the Singapore software has been an unending journey, Singapore software must be an engine because nation building is a journey to no end. You and I have a lifespan. Have a lifespan. Some of us will live 85 years, some will live 100 years, some will live 120 years. But none of us will live forever. But we all hope that Singapore will live forever. And so the software must continue to evolve. And it can only continue to evolve if every one of us will have time. So, so I challenge you, 
Gracias. 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 Gracias.